Guys, do you know this feeling? When you practice and practice, you play tournaments and tournaments, and then you don't see any improvements. This can be so frustrating, and I will try to help you to get over it. Hi Fußvolks, my name is Lynn. I'm a football player from Germany and the current world champion in women's doubles. Welcome to another episode of Strategy Sunday with Linja. If you're thinking about buying a Leonard table, make sure to visit the Leonard page and with my code Linja International, you can get 5% discount on your table and also a very cool package with 10 Leo balls and 8 reps. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the plateaus you will face when you are trying to be ambitious and I will try to explain to you how to master the plateaus. So what is actually happening when you are getting to a plateau? A plateau is something where you're just still standing even you are trying to walk. You practice and practice and you don't see any improvements or any results or anything like that. The first thing you have to do is to realize that you are on a plateau because when you realize that you are on a plateau it is definitely easier on you because most of the people need explanations or reasons for why something is like it is so realizing and recognizing that you are on a plateau is the first step to it and without this first step you can never never reach the second step which is admitting and accepting the plateau. When you are able to do this, you are on a very, very good way. Because we need to understand how improvements in sports or also in other um, things in, in life are working, right? So the expectations are most of the time linear, but this is not the reality. The reality looks like the line you see here. You have a specific level and then you improve and then uh, you also make um, step backs, right? And then you stay on a specific level for some time. Uh, it always depends on which level in general you are and how you as an individual learn, right? And this chart I made is just an example. So it could be so different from individual to individual, just depending on how quick you as an individual person are learning stuff and, um, and how fast you reflect things and stuff like that, right? And this is so crucial to understand because when you understand this chart, then, then you, you will adjust your expectations and then it's also a whole different thing um, how you feel about, about practice and about um, how, how, how your improvements are developing. So after you admit and accept that you are on a plateau, the big question is how can you get over this plateau? And I have to destroy the imagination about that uh, there is a specific magic formula for um, breaking the plateau. It's just patience and keep working on practice. But first of all, let's talk about reflecting your skill level and also your goals. Because when you are reflecting your skill level, you will see what did you achieve until now already. And when you also try in this combination to um, reflect the goal, your main goal, and maybe also can compare yourself with, uh, with your idol, then you will also have more acceptance for the plateau. Also, this is very, very good for yourself when you are trying to visualize your goal so that you know the path to go and um, that you are accepting the plateau because this is something that is included in this journey. Another tip I want to give you to master the plateau is remind yourself why are you playing foosball. This helped me out of so many situations where I was um, angry, frustrated or whatever because of football and because of results or maybe ambitions which I didn't reach yet or whatever, my shot's not working or my pass is not working and, and all that stuff, right? So just remind yourself, take one minute or anything like that and just think about why do I play football? When you manage to go through all the steps I just told you, then you will do the last thing automatically. Keep practicing. You will do it automatically because 
um, you accept it, you realize it, you, you go through your visions and stuff like that. And then it's kind of, it should be very easy for you to um, keep going. Okay, maybe very easy is not the very right word for that. Uh, it will still be hard, but it will definitely help you to stay motivated and also inspired. These were my five tips how to master a plateau and I hope this will help you to get over uh, your plateau frustration. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and joining with me the Strategy Sunday episode. I cannot wait for another journey with you.